Okay, so we're told the legs of an isosceles right triangle each measure 10 inches. So an isosceles right triangle, right, that means the two legs are equal. And in this case, each of those legs are equal in length to 10 inches. I'm just going to label my right angle 10 and 10 for our two legs, right? That means these two angles are 45 and 45, right? Angles opposite equal sides are equal. And we want to know what's the length of the hypotenuse to the nearest tenth of an inch. What's wonderful about the isosceles triangle is that the hypotenuse always equals one of the legs, 10, let's say, right? Either one, it's the same, times the square root of 2. And we're done. And here we can approximate that as 10 times, in parentheses, 2 to the 0.5 power. And we get 14, right? 0.142, and we're rounding the nearest tenth of an inch, so it's 14.1, or choice three. Now there's a whole nice proof as to why this happens with the, um, with with the this rule that it's the leg times the square root of two. But we can at least show it quickly. That's the result of the Pythagorean theorem. So right, 10 squared plus 10 squared, leg squared plus leg squared, equals the hypotenuse squared. 10 squared plus 10 squared is 200 equals c squared. We want to know what a c equal, so square root of 200. 200 really is the same thing, of course, as 100 times 2. And take the square root of that. What's the square root of 100? Well, it's 10. Square root of 2, just the square root of 2. And that's what c is equal to, which is exactly what we found. So here, we use the Pythagorean theorem or the special rules of this special right triangle. Thanks.